Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna to use these tarot cards to do a why not check on Chris Evans and Jessica Biel. Why didn't they work out as part of our Vintage Love series? So I hate to burst people's bubble, but like the answer to all of this, you know, why didn't Chris Evans and Jessica Biel work? It may have just been like they were too young, you know, because looking at their immediate charts, they were like, you know, pretty compatible. So if you Google pictures of Chris Evans and Jessica Biel, like be prepared for like a very charming blast from the past. I mean, they're both so baby faced when they were together. They're just like, they look like little puppies. They look like little puppies that found love, you know? It's just an adorable couple. So Chris Evans, as we know, he has a very challenging, very unique immediate chart. He is a Gemini with a Scorpio rising and a Scorpio moon. So, you know, we hope that he has all the best qualities of each of these very challenging signs. Like we hope he has the generousness of a Gemini and the quick-witted nature and the loves challenges and mental puzzles aspect of a Gemini and we hope he has the loyal thoughtful and we hope he has the loyal thoughtful side of a Scorpio you know hopefully he has less of the challenging qualities like we hope he's not you know revenge filled and jealous as Scorpios can sometimes be and we hope he's not you know full of mind games that Geminis can often do, or easily bored and wanting, you know, novelty. So, that said, Jessica Biel is a Pisces. So Pisces and Gemini, they're okay together. Like, they're both kind of like, they have it, they, both signs have an inherent duality to them. Gemini is the twins, Pisces is the two fish. So even though, like, water signs and air signs aren't a natural match, like, Pisces and Gemini's in life, I can see them like kind of, I, I see like a, at least a lot of friendships between Pisces and Gemini. So there is that. That said, like Chris has so much Scorpio in his immediate chart and Scorpio and Pisces has high, high compatibility together. So that's, that's great. And also she has a Gemini moon. So her emotional processing center is in this sort of like quixotic, twinsy, air-based, mental-based place. So she could probably, you know, easily tangoed with Chris Evans' Gemini son. So, you know, just doing a very cursory glance at their immediate charts, they had a lot going for them. So let's just start pulling some cards, right? Okay, so Jessica, Chris, Jessica, Chris, helping or hurting the situation, and where was the energy heading? Okay, so Jessica's external vibe to Chris. Okay, so we got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, you know, usually when we do these spreads for couples that didn't work out, we're taking a snapshot of what things were like at the very end. And what this is signifying to me, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, was that she was ready to let it go. Like, she was ready to, you know, drop the pentacle, drop the gift, you know, from out of her hands. So, again, this may have just been a timing thing. This may have just been, like, where they, life arena, where they were both at in life. So, Ace, Ace of Pentacles is like a gift. It's something that you can see or touch, feel you know, in the physical world. It can, you know, be an opportunity as well. Um, but usually there's a component of it that you can hold in your hand. And so when this comes up in reverse, it can suggest a delayed gift, the gift being withheld, or the gift like being dropped. And this to me is, comes through with strong dropping vibes. Okay, so Chris's external vibe towards Jessica Biel. Oh, well, they were on the same page. So we got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So Four of Pentacles upright is hoarding, you know, often time, money, affection, attention. You know, it's being very grabby, grabby with resources. You know, this can often come from a very strong scarcity mindset. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's about like letting go of resources. So sometimes this can be a very healthy card or the guides could be using this to mimic that he was also ready to let this relationship go and to let what they had go to be released. So very, very interesting. Okay, Jessica's internal vibe towards Chris. Oh, oh, okay. This is very interesting. Okay, so we got the Princess of Swords in reverse. 
So the cognate for this in the Rider White deck is the Page of Swords, and this is an upright, it's a classic card of mental agility, of just mentally being on your toes and having like a very strong strategy so that you can roll with the punches of life. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's a card of like not being, it's, it's a card of like being unable or unwilling to engage in that mental agility anymore. Now, this could be telling us a little something about Chris, because, like, keep in mind, like, Scorpios, we, we, we will play mind games, because we like to feel like we have the upper hand, and we like to feel like we have control. Geminis will absolutely play mind games. I think Geminis invented mind games, and they just taught everybody else. So, like, was he playing mind games with her? Possibly. Or it could have been circumstantial. It could have been, um... It could have been, like, their schedules, their careers were both taking off. They were tired of trying to plan the next date, or when are we going to both be in the same city again? That could have easily been uh, what this card is signifying. Okay. All right, and what was Chris's internal vibe towards Jessica Biel? Oh, okay. So, I mean, here's what I can say. So, the sun. We got the sun. So, this is a very happy, cheery, positive card. It's also a major arcana. So what it means is like cheer and optimism, warmth, um, potentially affection, sure, all those things. You know, the sun helps uh, crops to grow, plants to grow, flowers to grow. So it, he had a lot of warmth towards her. It's, you know, it's not a, this isn't a highly, highly romantic card. You know, there are some very romantic, deeply feeling cards that show up in this deck. And this this is, you know, good vibes for sure, but it's it's not heavily romantic, and I think that might be telling us something. Okay, and so what was helping or hurting the situation? Oh, okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right, I got it. So Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I think it was just the idea is that, like, neither had a legacy, and I think this is what it's they're saying. is like they're both starting out. Like, they didn't yet have this house, of like fame and fortune and assets to pass on to others. They were working to build it. You know, this is why it's coming up in reverse. The card hasn't er, 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 creaked upright. And that's why like their lives, their domestic lives, their financial lives were kind of upside down. Um, and they needed to make those houses upright before they could, you know, be in anything serious. Okay. And what was the bottom line about why they didn't work out? Oh, oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So upright, we know this is the card of winds of fate, winds of karma, get out of the way, we can't control it. In reverse, this is a card of human decisions. Like, they decided, you know, they were just kind of like, okay, well, we had a good run, but, you know... I where they were at with their careers and their livelihood and their legacy, they were just kind of like, time to call it and move on, is what I'm getting from this. So, yeah, that, that actually makes perfect sense to me. So that's what I got for you guys. Do you remember Chris Evans and Jessica Biel running around together? Did you like them as a couple? Did you see any of those uh, funny little films they made together? So, like and subscribe, and as always, we'll do this again.